Laser hair removal could increase a person's chances of being diagnosed with cancer. Experts have warned that the smoke produced, which smells like burning hair, contains chemicals that irritate the airways and are known to cause cancer. Those who are regularly exposed to the smoke, those who perform the cosmetic procedure for example, could be at greatest risk. Dr. Gary Chuang of the University of California, Los Angeles, warned that the risk increases when the procedure is performed by someone who is not trained adequately. He said, laser hair removal performed by improperly trained personnel or in an inadequately equipped facility will put both the healthcare workers and patients at risk. He added that the procedures should only be performed in spaces with an adequate air filtration system and a smoke evacuator. Dr. Chuang and his team collected hair samples from two volunteers. Sealed the samples in glass jars, treated them with a laser, and captured 30 seconds of laser plume. A smoky mix of burned hair and chemicals that they identified 377 chemical compounds in the smoke, including 20 that are known environmental toxins, such as carbon monoxide and 13 that are known or suspected to cause cancer. They included benzene and toluene. According to the study, published in JAMA Dermatology, Dr. Chuang and colleagues also measured the concentrations of very fine particles in the plume that could be easily inhaled. They found an eight-fold increase in concentrations of the particles. Compared with room air before the procedure, even when there was a smoke evacuator nearby. When they turned the smoke evacuator off for just 30 seconds, the particle count increased more than 26-fold. The researchers conclude that the burning hair plume released during laser hair treatment should be considered a biohazard, warranting the use of smoke evacuators, good ventilation, and respiratory protection risks are likely greater for practitioners who may work eight hours straight, Dr. Chuang observed. But no studies have yet looked at how much exposure to the burning hair plume is too much. It's similar to estimating the effect of secondhand smoke. Very difficult to do, Dr. Chuang acknowledged. Nevertheless, he stressed, it's important to minimize the risks. Dermatologist Dr. Delphine Lee of the John Wayne Cancer Institute in Santa Monica, California, urges people to keep these results in perspective. Consider, she told Reuters, how these levels compare to everyday exposures to other. Carcinogen laden air, such as an urban environment with lots of car exhaust or a smoky restaurant, there has been no reported epidemic of increased lung disease or other cancer in technicians or health professionals who perform procedures with lasers, people who visit dermatology offices that use lasers, or patients who have frequent laser hair removal, Dr. Lee noted however, this landmark study alerts us to consider the consequences and further studies are warranted to investigate the risk. Of exposure to laser hair removal plume, Dr. Lee said. Although the actual risks aren't yet known, Dr. Lee advises both practitioners and consumers to take some moderate precautions, such as wearing respiratory masks, during the procedure.